morning from Cambodia. So it's Sunday, July 8th, um, probably just before 7.30. And I'm out on my balcony having a cup of tea. I made my masala tea this morning. Weekends I make my masala tea because um, weekdays I'm just in too much of a rush to take the time. So, and it's my treat for Saturdays and Sundays since I don't have to get up quite so early. I mean, I don't have to get up early anyway, but I just, my body clock always wakes me up. So, what's on the um, agenda for today? Hmm, I don't know. I know tomorrow I may be going to Phnom Chizu, which is down in Takao province with May and possibly her mother to see weaving, silk weaving and um, pre-Angorian temples or a temple that's there on Phnom Chizu. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I'm in day five. I'm starting the day five of no internet. Yeah, Wednesday. Um, I mean, things like this happen, but generally it doesn't last for very long. Um, you know, power goes out and you just go, oh, well, you know, and that was what happened. Power went out. And um, so I ended up just going to Brown, the coffee shop. There's quite a few of them here in Phnom Penh. And figured, well, I'll just, you know, do my schoolwork or whatever I was doing that day. And I'll come back and the power and the internet will be back. Well, the power was back, but the internet wasn't. And um, the vet that I used, they said they didn't have internet either. Now, I don't know if they have the same provider. I have EasyCom. So, um, I'm an expat here in Cambodia, I'm not a tourist, and I signed up for EasyCom. Well, you pay six months in advance. That's, that's the going thing. You have to, you know, do that, you sign up, and um, so yeah, they've got six months of my money, and I have, I'm on day five now of no internet, so I keep telling them they're going to credit my account. If they don't, I'm going to ca cancel. Um, they said, finally, after, um, you know, our team is working on it, blah, blah, blah. They didn't tell me any more than that. And so, you know, I went with that. Finally, I had May call them when she got back from um, Bangkok on Thursday. Well, she called on Friday morning. Um, they are rerouting their cables to under the ground. Well, that's fine. You're doing that fine. Tell me, you know, don't give me this line or no line at all. You know, so... Um, they said yesterday they called me because I've been posting everywhere and I've been writing them emails and um, so I think they know I'm not happy. Um, so if you have Easy Calm and you're here in um, Phnom Penh, I'm in the Tultumpung area so um, I don't know how many areas they're working on that are down with no internet but um, yeah it sucks, you know, um, put it blatantly. I've tried to post some of them. Um, so it was, it was kind of cool to see because it was, you know, people riding through the, the city with their respective party banners and flags. So that was good to see. Um, um, let me see, what else? Yeah, I mean, rainy season. Um, right now, skies are kind of blue with some wispy clouds. The temperature's not bad. Um, yeah, I just... Um, why don't we talk expenses? Here in Phnom Penh, um, you know, it's been 11 years since I've lived in Cambodia, so um, I always lived in the province. And I kind of, you know, live, we Khmer for the most part. You know, our meals are Khmer. Um, I can go to the market and spend maybe $30 um, at like Super Duper or Angkor Mart you know, between 20 and $30 every other day to pick up Western items. So, I mean, that's not bad. And I'm on a target of spending a, so, a certain amount per month. And so, so far I'm on that target. Um, I didn't really pay attention to it last month because last month was still getting everything, you know, settled for the house, um, buying bigger things. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, very pleased with what we're spending for a family of six in the house. Uh, I give May a certain amount and she spends about $20 a week at the, like, orase, pasa orase. So um, that's to feed us for the whole week, you know, make meals. So she buys vegetables and meat and she freezes the meat. So that's, that's pretty good, you know, that's a, a good amount. You know, I'm pleased with that. 
um, electricity. <laughs> we were pleasantly surprised. Um, the boys, I mean, when I got the bill, we came back from somewhere and um, they handed me the bill and I saw it and I was like, oh crap. And then I was like, well, that's in real. So um, I went and converted it and it was only $130. And I was like, I'm like, wow, that's like super good, especially for a house our size. I mean, we've got um, five, well, four floors that we use. And then we have a fifth floor that has the roof um, that I go out and I hang clothes. Um, there's actually, Brent, Ian said, um, seven floors. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, you know, so far that's really good. I says, well, okay, guys, just because we're spending that much doesn't mean that you guys can go flicking all the lights on, you know, and leaving them on. So, um, you know, after a couple months, I'll be able to see how we're doing. Um, water, $5 a month. That's it. You know, now that's not including our drinking water. I buy, um, I buy big bottles of water and it's usually per day. So it's a dollar a day. So, you know, $30 for drinking water. And then, um, yeah, so, but for water coming out of our tap, you know, for washing dishes, taking a bath, doing the wash, $5 a month, that's not bad. So, you know, I don't have to pay for electricity, I mean, for heating which is wonderful um yeah so we'll see you know expenses so far are, are very good for you know me um so I'm, I'm very pleased so yeah so i'm going to show you um what some of the cambodian reel looks like in a minute and um you're gonna think i have a lot of money on on me but it's not really it's it's real yeah it's it's real real um it's not dollar but um i've gotten to the point where i'm I'm converting again easier, you know, when I get change back or when I have to get change back, I can convert, you know, really quick in my head. So that's good. Um, so, you know, I can basically look at the bills when they give them back to me. And I know that I'm not getting, you know, taken to the cleaners. So <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. Um, yesterday I went with May to pick up a lamp cause she's going to be doing eyelash extension. We went to, um, money bunk. Money Vung um, Boulevard and it was around five o'clock in the afternoon so it was still very busy it was kids were getting out of school and stuff but the traffic was crazy I mean um, normally I'm not quite that on edge and I was like you know wow I mean people were just like they wanted to get home or wanted to get to wherever they were going and they were weaving in and out and cars really don't give a frig about you know um, the pass up um, rickshaws or the motos you know you see this stuff and it's like gee you know it's like it's a wonder there's not more accidents or you don't hear about them anyway um so yeah there was another fire there's been a couple more fires um another fire um in the same area that i posted a couple sundays ago when may and, and pat were getting engaged and um, another 10 houses were lost so um yeah, it's, it's wiring, so that kind of scares me. Um, you know, wiring and plumbing are very cheap here to do, and um, it's just something that, you know, you have to hope for the best. But anyway, so that's my soliloquy for this morning. If I go anywhere of interest today, I am thinking of going um, at least to one place today. I will bring you along, but I'm going to show you some Cambodian reel so you can see what money looks like here. So talk to you soon. Okay, so we're back and here's some um, from yesterday. This is from Super Duper. It's the larger of the grocery stores in my area. Um, I could go to Thai Hot, uh, Lucky's or the Biome, but they're further in the city. Thai Hot, I think they have a... Um, one of their stores is near to me, but since I don't have a car always at hand, it's easier to just take a pass app rickshaw and just go to Super Duper if I want like meats and things like that. So if I'm cooking Super Duper, um, if it's just to get some things, I can go to Angora Mart or um, Royal Mart. And um, yeah, so 37.67. Um, yeah, so that's not bad. That's 
you know, buying bread. I did buy a whole chicken because I made chicken soup yesterday because I had a couple that were under the weather. Laundry detergent. Um, I found these really good cookies. They're kind of like peanut butter cookies, but they're not um, overly sweet. Um, yogurt, you're going to spend a lot of money on because it's um, imported here. Um, yeah, so my son and I both, Patrick and I both bought yogurt yesterday. I bought the um, just the plain, which was more expensive. I'm not sure where it was made. He bought the yolk play. So yeah, 37.67. That'll be for a couple days, unless I really do need milk. So now let's talk money. So you see this 50,000. You think, oh wow, that's a lot of money. No, that's only 12 dollars right there. 50,000 real is 12 dollars. And then 20,000 real, that's the king. Um, so 10,000 is 250, so this is $5 right here. So I have about $17 here. Um, this is a 10,000 real bill, front and back. And that's 250 or thereabouts. The you know, amount could change each and every day. Um, 1,000 real bill. The former king, the father king when he was younger, um, 1,000 real. So that's about um, 25 cents. Because if you have um, 4,000 real, it's equal in a dollar or thereabouts. They just round it up to that. Um, 2,000 real. So that's 50 cents. We don't have coins here in Cambodia. So there's the other side. worker working with rice so, yeah and then I've got all these lovely little 100 reels and they're hmm, well a thousand reel is worth 25 cents these are worth about two cents or so um, so yeah I've got a ton of these so you know not a lot of money so yeah that's your little education courtesy of Baby Boomer here in Cambodia. So, yeah, I use, I prefer to use the reel, it's easy. Um, go to use pass apps, the rickshaws, and um, generally it's only 3,000 reels, so they give me back 1,000 reel. Um, it's a little bit more expensive if I ask them to stay and wait for me, if I'm um, at the store, so that way I don't have to look for another pass app and my phone won't always work that quick and I don't feel like standing around with perishables, so yeah.